hello there my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching today we are going to discuss about Bayern Munich they are champions again champion champion holy 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 well I'm not surprised are you because from day one we pretty much knew that Bayern are going to be champion I don't really think that uh, Bayern Munich fans are going to celebrate a new title because that's what they do each year. I think they will celebrate more winning the Champions League than winning the domestic league. That's what they do. They win because they have a great team. Everybody want to play for Bayern Munich. In Germany, their dream is to play for Bayern Munich. Even though Bayern doesn't spend that uh, crazy money on players but they end up by having great players because it's a dream for many players to play there so man they got all the money they got all the good players and it's just so boring man so boring like you already know what is going to happen it's just like a wwe where everything is already set up and you just need to go there and put on a show and you already know who is going to win and all that it's just like scripted so i don't know man it's uh, it's uh, so boring for me but hey you have to beat what is in front of you right because you have very good teams like uh, Dortmund and other teams but looks like they don't want to challenge or something it looks like they will go up 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 and then at some point all the way down but Bayern will be strong from day one until the last day so I mean I don't blame them for winning every single year but it doesn't feel like celebrating a title anymore I don't know about you guys maybe I'm talking because I am biased I'm a Chelsea fan and uh, I quotation hate Bayern so you know uh, I, I can say those kind of stuff but for a Bayern fan maybe they see it differently but huh man next year also it's gonna be the same okay they win the league they take all the good player around the country probably they are going to sign Kai Harvard and sign all the other youngsters from Germany um, and they make another great team so I don't know so talking about uh, Kai Harvard talk still going on okay according to many publication nobody is in front at the moment okay Bayern Chelsea Real Madrid Barcelona or Man United everybody is at the same level and uh, Leverkusen already set up a price so the, the team that are going to pay the money are going to have the player but also there is a catch here because the player is not going to sign for any team if he doesn't want you know so you can go with your money and he said i'm not going to barcelona for example i want to play for uh, bayern munich there's nothing you can do about it so uh it's 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 kind of the case of timo verna last season he refused to move to real madrid and he waited for um for bayern to come calling and then he was almost ready to sign for them the last minute they say we're not gonna sign you he was so disappointed so i don't think um this is going to be the case for kai harvard but realistically bayern don't have money for uh, kai harvard but who knows they might find money somewhere. They might get rid of few players here and there and go sign Kai Harvard. It's really a big, big fight at the moment. But what I don't understand, and I'm going to repeat myself again, what are we waiting for? What Chelsea football are waiting for? See, if it's because of the money, I mean, 15 million difference. I don't see how Chelsea don't get this deal done 
if that was the case of course so i'm starting doubting a little bit it could be maybe kai harvard doesn't want to sign for chelsea because i don't really believe that because of the money 15 million different 15 million difference than chelsea are going to miss out on somebody like kai harvard anyway you guys let's talk now what uh, the title for bayern munich mean for chelsea football club well it could be really a good thing for chelsea because bayern players are going to be on holiday right now their mind is not in the league anymore because it's already won they have to drink a lot of beer the end of the month will be the end of the bundesliga and they will have one month off the real competition you know what i mean so when they don't have the real competition in their legs and the champions league is in august it's gonna be very difficult for them because chelsea will have more uh playing time at the moment than bayern munich so you know i'm trying to dream here chelsea will be in shape and bayern munich will be on holiday so anything can happen in the second leg and according to the uefa proposal um uh, the return game is going to be in a neutral ground in portugal so nobody uh, will bring any of their fans so we're gonna be in a neutral ground with uh, no fans on the ground or anything only players so i don't think chelsea are going to be intimidated by bayern munich okay it's gonna be like a training game or something so nothing to lose just let do it and i am confident that chelsea youngsters are going to perform very good behind closed doors than under pressure you know what i'm trying to say so hey call me crazy or whatever you want but i think we are going to give them a very good game of football and anything can happen we lost at home it was so painful to see because how many chances chelsea missed i heard many people saying how poor we were and blah 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 but that wasn't the case in the first half chelsea had at least three clear chances and just like the story of our season we don't take our chances and the opposition just take advantage one nil and the whole team collapse because of the young age you know the overall young age of the team nobody is like a real leader who push the player to keep uh, uh fighting somebody like john terry who will say hey we're still on it let's go let's go let's go as piliqueta is not like a, a vocal leader or anything so you know what i'm trying to say here so that game we played very good until you know we do what we do best which is collapse but the second leg is going to be different and if we are allowed to register our new players and then that could be even better because imagine if uh, timo verna and hakim ziyech uh play for chelsea football club and who knows maybe uh saeed ben ramam i mean it's going to be a different ball game but hey it is what it is it's football and we see, we've seen so many crazy things happen anything is possible keep the faith and keep supporting our boys anyways guys i've been just rambling and talking and um, it's time for you to leave your comment in the description below let me know what you think about everything that uh, i've spoken in this video let's have a conversation man it's a good discussion to have think outside the box and see you in the next one.